with the whole intro thing because I'm just really not good at intros. So just this Thursday, NYX finally released all of the shades, all 12 shades of the NYX lip lingerie line. I think they released the first six during the uh, mid during mid December. Now they're releasing the final six shades. According to the website, it's a luxurious liquid lipstick with a plush matte finish. Now it retails for 490 pesos and is available at NYX branches nationwide. Right now I'm wearing the shade Beauty Mark which was one of the shades that they previously released last December and I have two of the new shades right here. I have here Ruffle Trim and NYX Teddy. I honestly can't tell the difference if you just look at the bottle. I can't tell the difference between um, which one is which. This is Beauty Mark and this is Teddy. So yeah, well that's much difference. But I'm gonna swatch all of these three and I'm gonna try them on for you guys later so that um, you can see how the color looks like on Morena's skin. But I'm gonna share with you first my experience with this lipstick. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. Pretty standard toe foot applicator. And then when you put it on, you're gonna notice that um, it doesn't, it's not that opaque with just one layer. You're gonna have to dry it out and then apply a second layer to make the color really pop out and cover your lips. But it's not like the other lipsticks that when you apply over, the first layer that is going to become streaky, no it's not going to become streaky, um, it's going to stick really well to that first layer that you put on. One thing that I also noticed is that it's really, really drying, like if you have lines on your lips or, or if you have any flakiness at all, it's going to emphasize that quite horribly. So I suggest you put on lip balm first before you put on this lipstick or sleep with the lip balm on just so that you know your lips are extra soft when you wake up in the morning. I don't know if you can see it, but right now my lips look really, really parched. Now for the wear time, I was very, very impressed with the NYX lip lingerie because I wore this during our Christmas celebration last December 24 and for the whole day, it did not budge. It just stayed on my lips without reapplication. But you also have to take note that I only drank water, I didn't eat oily foods that day. I ate a lot of things, but they weren't really that oily. So after lunch, after the whole festivities went on, um, I slept with my lipstick on, and then when I woke up, it was still there. Again, no reapplication whatsoever. And then it stayed that way all the way up to the time when I had to remove it at night. Before I went to bed. So that's pretty impressive for this lipstick. I also tried eating oily foods with this. It is gonna come out just a little bit, not too much. Or probably if you eat like like that, I'm sure it's gonna come off one way or another. Now let's talk about removing the product. Because of its durability, you're gonna need an oil-based makeup remover to really, you know, remove it quickly and easily because even my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes did not work well on this. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, I'm gonna do a kiss test real quick just to see if there's any transfer when you kiss. Nope. So yes, I do kiss my husband in this lipstick and it does not come out. Like I said, what I have on right now is Beauty Mark and according to the website, it's colored chocolate brown. So I'm just gonna put it on my hand to give you guys a swatch. Okay, again, standard low foot applicator. And then... That's the first layer. And then this is the second layer which as you can see makes it a lot more opaque. This is Teddy. So can you tell the difference between Beauty Mark and Teddy? I can't. According to the website, this is a warm, rich brown by the way. That was the first layer. I'm just gonna put on the second layer just to make it a bit more opaque. Okay, on camera, there is a bit of a difference. This is lighter than Beauty Mark. So I'm just gonna swatch that as well. First layer, this, this one, this one, this one, this That's the first layer of Beauty Mark, of Teddy, sorry. I just really can't tell the difference. Second layer, really not much of a difference when you put it on 
Morena skin. I think I prefer this better than Beauty Mark though. Yes. Yes. At least with the shirt that I'm wearing. Okay, so last one, ruffle trim. Now this is ruffle trim. It's a beautiful everyday shade and according to the website, it's a cinnamon pink and it's kind of similar to um, um, Maybelline Clay Crush. I like this shade. I just gotta say, I like this shade. And then let's not forget to swatch. Yeah. Oops. That is what it looks like. Overall, I'm really, really impressed with the NYX Lip Lingerie. When I bought the shades, however, um, I made sure to buy ones that are suitable for Morena skin tones because looking at the other shades, like the one that, um, what's her name? Joyce Sola? Joyce Sola? How do you pronounce that? Because it's Joyce, one of the other Filipina YouTubers here who has lighter skin. On her skin tone, the other shades look really, really pale. So I didn't get those other shades. I bought these darker shades that I know that I can use and won't make me look, you know, thin. So um, that's it for this review for 490 pesos. I think this is a really good steal. Um, the quality is great. It lasts long all day. Again, you just have to make sure that you moisturize your lips before applying it. And um, really, I have nothing else to say about this lipstick. I give it 4.5 stars over 5. Let me know if you've already tried it on or if you don't like it or if you like it or, or if you've tried other shades. Let me know if it's good on Morena skin. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!